In this video, I'm gonna go over the five pros and the five cons of Quest Trade Online Brokerage, and I'm gonna compare it to a few other options for you guys. Let's dive into it. Hi everybody, I'm Mark, and welcome to Mediocre Money. This is my personal finance show where I talk about strategies, advice, and research, and help you become financially independent. All right, let's cue the Quest Trade commercial. You're not still investing with mom and dad's guy, are you? It's time to switch to Quest Trade. Retire up to 30% wealthier with Quest Wealth Portfolios. But does Quest Trade actually allow us to become 30% wealthier? Stick around to the end of the video where I'm going to answer that question. So, what is a Quest Trade and what is an online brokerage? An online brokerage is simply a business or a platform that connects to the stock market. It allows you to create an account, put cashola into it, and then buy and sell funds, stocks, or bonds with this cashola. But personally, I recommend the low cost ETFs from Vanguard like these ones. So pro number one, Questrate is fully self-directed. What that means is that you have access to the entire stock market. Any sort of stock that you want or ETF that you want, you're allowed to buy. And that's very different from some of the big banks like TD, RBC, BMO, Wells Fargo that try to lock you into these restricted tax advantage accounts where you can only buy their specific big bank funds that are not low cost funds. And that really pisses me off that big banks do that. Warren Buffett, the greatest investor of all time, recommends buying a low cost S&P 500 index fund, such as Vanguard's VFV. Most of these big bank brokerages, they don't want you to buy these funds because they don't make that much money off of them. They make barely any, which is why the big banks try to lock you into these restricted accounts where they can sell you their own fees that charge upwards of one and a half, even higher than 2% sometimes. Pro number two, Questrade will refund any of your transfer fees. So if you have, say, a TFSA in your TD bank account, and you want to move all of that money in cash or in the investments that you already own over to Quest Trade, you can do that and Quest Trade will pay you back the transfer fees for that. When I did this, I, I believe it cost me $75 and Quest Trade gave me a refund for $75. So I can definitely verify that it works. Pro number three, you can open almost any type of investment account with Quest Trade. You can open up a TFSA, an RRSP, an RESP, a Lira, a corporate, a Forex, a CFD, a margin account, and they might even be adding more. Pro number four, there's no annual fee or management fee. Now this is where Quest Trade differs from something like Wealthsimple, where Wealthsimple charges you, I think it's 0.4% or 0.5% management fees on your total assets, and Quest Trade doesn't do that. And pro number five, I actually use Quest Trade. I don't just review it and test it out, I actually use Quest Trade as my main trading platform. And while I'm no Warren Buffett, very happy with their app and their web platform and the amount of features that they have on it. And now time for the cons. Now, just before I get into the cons, if you're enjoying this video so far and you want to learn more about personal finances and learn how you can achieve financial freedom, retire possibly decades earlier, then please hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button. Give this video a like. It really helps me know that I'm creating good videos and to help bring more videos to you. Now for some of the cons. Con number one is that the web platform is pretty complex and same with the app to a certain degree. And now this is a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing because it, the reason why it's so complex is they have so many features allowing you to do whatever you want with your money, which is great. But on the other hand, that means that there's also so much in their platform and in their interface that it might be overwhelming for some beginner investors. Number two, they have a minimum funding limit of $1,000. So if you want to open up a TFSA or an RSP with Quest Trade, you have to put in at least $1,000. Now, I don't really particularly like that they do this. However, they do make it easy with the fact that they will cover any transfer fees. So if you have $2,000 in a TFSA, in somewhere else, you can transfer that over to, to Quest Trade and that will count as your one minimum $1,000 funding. Number three, their mobile app is uh, actually getting better. It used to be kind of iffy and I didn't really like using it myself, 
but they are constantly adding more features to it. I can now log in with my fingerprint and they have so many more options available on the mobile app now. And I expect them to continue releasing more features to it. So the mobile app is getting better. It used to be kind of poor, but it's definitely trying to catch up at the times. However, you still can't do everything on the mobile app and you might have to go on your computer to do some more complex things with your accounts. And number four, their profit and loss displays suck. I get it that they're doing what's technically the industry standard by showing you your daily gains in percentages and also in dollar amounts. That is kind of what all brokerages use. However, I wish they had an option to kind of show your long-term growth and your long-term wealth accumulation. That's something that Wealthsimple does really, really well. And because one of the cores of my personal finance strategy is to invest for the long term, which means I don't really care what my holdings do in a given day. I care how they grow over a year, two years, five years, or 10 years. So I just feel like having the days, gains, and losses is kind of discouraging and gets people caught up in the details. And if you are interested in what principles I use for my personal finance strategy, I'll link to them in the description of this video. And so I really like Wealthsimple for that because it has investors focus on some very sound investing principles, which is investing for the long term. And number five, their name kind of sucks. Like Quest Trade, it, it sounds like it's supposed to have two T's and maybe an extra E. I don't really know how to spell Quest, but it's all wrapped into one word with like one T and some people always misspell it. But I mean, that's just a pet peeve of mine. I couldn't spell mo mojitos for the longest time. And I, you know, you might thought it was mojitos or mojitos. I mean, I guess it's pretty cool that they invented their own word or their own name, but I mean, it would have been better if they invented mojitos. So now to answer the question, can Wealthsimple really make you 30% wealthier? Now, by far the single best advantage of using Quest Trade is their extremely low fees. They only charge about $5 or $4.95 to purchase as many assets as you want, and they max it out to 10, just below $10. To give you a comparison, when I was investing with TD, I was paying $10 to buy an ETF, like Vanguard's VFV, and now with Quest Trade, I only pay $5 to invest. So that's 50% savings, that's pretty good. And if you were to compare that with something like Wealthsimple, where they just will allow you to buy and sell for free, however, they charge a management fee of 0.4%, while that doesn't sound like a lot, as your wealth grows over time, that 0.4% can add up to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Meanwhile, I could be buying and selling these low-cost ETFs with Quest Trade and be only paying less than $200 per year. And that could be huge for your savings, huge for your retirement, and huge for your ability to generate wealth. So yes, I truly believe that if you want to buy low-cost index funds, the cheapest way to do it is with Quest Trade. And I believe it can allow you to retire 30% wealthier or perhaps 30% sooner. Overall, while I really like Quest Trade and love the fact that they have extremely low fees, uh, I don't particularly like the interface. I wish it was a little bit more user friendly and just visually appealing. However, it is a great resource and I use it as my main platform. And I think you'd be wise if to use it as your main platform too. Another added benefit is that I really like how my investments are outside of the bank where my day-to-day -day transactions are. It just kind of puts it out of sight and out of mind and uh, adds that one layer of difficulty for me to like say, pull money from it. So what do you think about Quest Trade? Have you tried it out before? Are you willing to try it out? Let me know in the comments down below. And, and I have a special link for Quest Trade where you can get $50 of free trading. So you actually won't be charged that $5 to buy anything and you actually get $50 for free. And I get a couple bucks too, so it's a win-win situation. So if you want that link, I'll be pinning it in the comments of this video. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Quest Trade. And for those of you who did notice, maybe I am wearing my JBB, James Barker Band shirt. Love James Barker Band. If you guys haven't listened to them, it's a, it's a, a really great country band. And I actually went to school with James Barker in high school. I highly recommend you check him out. He's going live on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube every day during the COVID-19 crash and giving you guys some live music. It's awesome. Highly recommend it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to become financially free and to manage your money and to be able to retire possibly decades earlier, give my channel a subscribe. 
and you'll get more awesome tips and advice about personal finances.